Hello everyone and welcome to the Don's TV post-match show following a 2-0 victory over Gillingham in here in League 2. We're joined by Josh Nerfield yep. and Stuart Deakins. Welcome. Josh, what are your immediate thoughts after that? Um, listen, I think it was a professional performance. I think when you go one up against them type of sides, it's always difficult, especially they've got a lot of experienced players in their team. So it's very easy to like kind of drop off the pace and drop the tempo and kind of let them go back in the game and kind of fit into the game they want to play. Um, obviously, we know they want to play off set pieces and stuff, things like that and long balls. So we knew we had to kind of stop that early doors by like shutting down their, their defenders early to stop them playing to Hawkins. Um, and then I think obviously when they went on down to 10 men, we kind of just had to keep doing what we were doing, but at a higher tempo rather than just thinking we've already won the game. Do you know what I mean? So I think um, Omar's performance today um, showed what he could do. And I think that's what's won us the game inevitably. Absolutely. You mentioned that red card there. How much of that was, did that change the game, do you think, that early on? And, and two probably silly, cynical yellows, really, if you think about it. Yeah, I, I don't really think in terms of the result, it probably would have changed anything. I think, was we 1-0 up at the time? I, thought, I can't yes, remember. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so we were 1-0 up at the time anyway. So I don't really think in terms of the result, it would have changed much. But definitely from a psychological point of view, um, we know we've got the spare man. They know that they've got to drop in. They can't do the what they were intending to do or their game plan. I think your game plan always changes when you go down to 10 men. So... I think we kind of dealt with that well in terms of they would, we knew they were going to sit in and then we just kind of punished them on a counter-attack. And I think you can see in the last three, four games how we've been playing on the counter against teams. And you see it last week on Saturday. So it's, it's proved pivotal for us. So that's where we're at. Yeah, so we're in the running now. Eight games to go. Um, obviously for yourself, since the Milton Keynes game, you've dropped in to right wing back. Is that a position you've played before? I think I've dibble dibbled in and out of um, different positions over, over the years, to be fair. Um, I kind of broke through at Luton as a, like a right back ish so it's just something you just got to get used to I think you've got to try to be versatile um, especially in teams like this um, we play different styles like in terms of long ball and we can play at times and switch the players so especially in this league you've got to um, go in and out of different positions yeah. um, and especially the way we're playing at the moment I think wing backs are key for us um, and just all around the pitch I think has helped us um, in terms of like covering round and things like that so yeah it's a position I've kind of dealt with before but not not feature too high like too much yep. too much so what's Johnny areas. what's Johnny asking you like tonight is it to do your defensive work first or make sure push them back rather than them pushing you back what's the sort of message um, I think it just depends on the team we're playing against I think their, their left wing back as you say there is more of a full back so you know you're going to have more of the ball higher at the pitch and he's going to drop off and then we go to not some Saturday and they've got Jody Jones who's an out and out winger so you just got to kind of read who you're playing against and kind of go off that I don't think it's um, I think when the gaffer's telling me drop in or stay high you just yeah. got to kind of read the game for what it is um, and then go off that really um, but obviously what we've been doing at the moment has been working so it's more or less do the same thing and keep trying to turn out performances We've had games thick and fast over the last few weeks how have you found that and sort of what's that been like for you playing sort of every, every week? Yeah, no, I think obviously I've, I was out injured for a while and because it was my back, I couldn't really do too much in mm. terms of that bike work, fitness work and that. So I kind of had to do other things to kind of stay on top of things and like, I couldn't really do gym and that because of the back issue is like you can't really do legs or, mm -hmm. or uppers. And it's also something I've been going through since about September. So it's probably been a bit difficult in terms of what I wanted to do, what I'd like to do in terms of staying fit, like in terms of doing extra runs and stuff in training. But I think it's just about your recovery off the pitch. I think we're all professional here. And in terms of playing Saturday, Tuesday, you can see at the back we've got JJ and Brownie who are 35, 33, so, and they're turning out games as well. So I think it's, you've just got to be professional in terms of what you're doing off the pitch and if you want to play on the pitch. And I think that's where we're at as a, as a team, to be fair. James Ball. <laughs> James Ball. Uh... Can I get Ball in? Ball in, do you want to get in now? He wants to go home, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, not wrong, is it? So um, we go on to Newport. I think they've had a heavy win mm. this evening. Um, but confidence must be really high. Clean sheets, obviously, if you keep clean sheet, you're going to get a point at least all the time. So confidence must be really high in there. Yeah, I mean, four clean sheets on the bounce, I think that's that's good. Give, especially given who we played. We played Jules, who are in and around the favourites to get in the playoffs. Yep. Mm. MK Dons, who might be automatic favourites. Notts County, who are probably favourites to, to probably win the league. So getting clean sheets against them type of teams is, is crucial. But playing against the types of, the likes of, Newport and then we obviously we played Grimsby the other day still got to get clean sheets against them I think you saw here when we played Sutton who were bottom of the league at the time it was we didn't get a yeah. clean sheet there so it's not just about the top teams it's about getting clean sheets against all the teams and then 
at least as you said, if you get a clean sheet, you're definitely guaranteed a point. Um, but we know how, how quickly football can change. You can you can concede at any point. So we just got to stay on top of things in terms of being professional and the way we're doing things at the moment. We looked obviously we're back at, at Plough Lane on Saturday. Uh, how, how big is that for the team having loads of games at home um, and just sort of being in front of the Plough Lane crowd, which seems to have picked up as of a certain result uh, the other day? Yeah, I think um, the majority of our, the rest of our eight games are at home. So we know that, especially since the MK game, that it's a tough place to come now. I think teams are probably looking at this and thinking they probably don't know how we're going to play in terms of long ball or play football. And they also don't know, obviously, we change personnel, we can, we can throw in different players at different different um, moments. I think you can look, JK's just started today and probably hasn't featured as much recently, so you can see that players are just coming in and fitting in straight away. I probably think that other teams in the league probably can't do that as well as we can, so I think it's, just, it's a tough place to come, I think, well, especially when the fans are going like this the way they were today. It's, it's going to be a tough place for anyone to come in the league, and then we're just going to try out these last eight games and see who we get. Obviously into the playoffs now is carry on the momentum, keep going. Yeah, it's as simple as that. I don't think we get ahead of ourselves yet. I think we've probably been in this position before in the seventh place and then we dropped off. So our, our aim now is just to stay in there and kind of just, we want to be chased rather than chasing other teams. Um, even given that, again, how many games we played and stuff like that, we don't really look into all of that and the points and all that. We're just focusing on our next eight games and just we want to get as many points as possible and at the moment we're doing quite well. Well, Josh, congratulations on a clean sheet. Yeah. I hope you've got a clean sheet bonus in your contract. <laughs> <laughs> if not, <laughs> oh, on that, but well, congratulations and thanks for joining us. Thank you for joining us.